hope you're all okay today. If you are joining me, we're going to have a very, very gentle, relaxing Pilates session today. We're going to do some lots of stretching because it is so warm and um, I just sometimes think we need a good old stretch. So all you need is a mat. I'm going to give it a few more seconds for everyone to join us. Of course, you can watch this back on the replay a little bit later. If you're here and want to say hello, feel free. Hi Nikki, hi Irene, I hope you're all alright and enjoying the sunshine. I've not been, I've not managed to get out in it today yet, but I will be after today, after this, sorry, because it's meant to thunderstorm later, so I'm going to make the most of it whilst I can and not look quite so pale. So I'm going to give you just a few more seconds, literally, just to just to make sure we're all good. So all you need is a mat and some space here. So, usually I always start my classes um, sitting cross-legged, but today we're going to sit in a child's pose, so if you do any of yoga, um, you might you might know this one already, but we're going to sit the heels on the, the, the glutes onto the heels. Okay, so very important, this is really good for stretching out a, um, a if you've got sort of any tension in your back, in your spine, in the neck, in the shoulders, which is... Uh, where a lot of tension uh, rises, to be quite honest, is in the body through stress, anxiety, jobs, etc. So make sure they're glued down, place the hands onto the floor. Now you're going to take a deep breath in and walk out, hands go further towards the top of the mat while still keeping your glutes glued down to the heels. Now it doesn't matter if you're here and your head isn't quite down, you're not quite stretching, what you don't want is this. Okay, you want to keep the heels down. So if that means that your hands are closer to you, that's fine. You will gain more flexibility that way than you will if you're like this, okay? So just relax down. We're just here for just a few seconds just to relax the body and the mind. Just breathe in and out. Fingertips will reach up to the top of the mat. Just inhale and exhale. And then take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. And then walk over onto the knees and have the hands in line with the shoulders on the knees in line with the hips, and then just rock into the hands and then rock back into the knees. So we're rocking forward and coming back, rock forward and back, just stretching out everything. There we go. And then just push the hips over to the right and then we look over the right shoulder into the hips into the middle and then over to the left and come into the middle inhale exhale over to the right come into the middle exhale over to the left into the middle and over to the right into the middle and over to the left and now what we're going to do is rock our, so rock the weight into the knees and then just circle the hips around. So we're coming into the hands, back into the knees and just keep going around. Circle and stretch. Just circle it around and stretch it out. And then we'll go the other way. and then one more and then relax into the middle and then we're going to have the hands flat onto the floor now not the chin round through the spine push into the hands so the spine is nice and long walk the hands closer to the body if you want to we inhale exhale look forward 
Another nod and round through, lift it up. Hold it there. So suck the belly button in towards the spine. And round through, look forward. Inhale, nod. Exhale, round. And look forward one more time. Inhale, exhale, nod. And relax, and then knees now as wide as the mat, big toes together. This might be a little bit more intense, but really good for the inner thighs and the hips. So sink down, stretch the hands forward, forehead on the mat, and hold it there. Just breathing in and out, stretch your hands out as far as you can go, place the elbows onto the mat. Nice and relaxing, just what you need in this weather. Just here for two more deep breaths in and out. And then inhale, bring the hands down and push up. And sit up nice and tall. I could fall asleep in that pose, it's one of my favourites. Okay, now swing the feet around and grab a pillow or head block if you have one close by. Here's one I prepared earlier. Okay, so lay that onto the mat, walk the feet out, and we're going to have the feet hip width apart, nod the chin, tuck the pelvis, hug the knees into the chest, and then gently rock side to side, pressing the lower back into the mat. This is like one of my favourite little transition exercises that I always like to do because it really helps to massage that lower back. Now circle the knees around. And then the other way. And then feet onto the floor, hip width apart, pelvis in neutral. So just rock the hips side to side because sometimes we have one hip higher than the other, which is very, very common. So just imagine now that you've got a straight line between one hip and the other. Lower back is on the floor and you're nice and settled. Okay, now with the arms, if you suffer with um, very sore shoulders or um, you sort of feel a lot of tension in the shoulders, you're going to place the hands down by the side and walk the feet, to walk the fingers to the heels of the feet. And then just lift the elbows up slightly and then feel that stretch right in the top of the shoulder and then gently relax it down. Inhale, exhale, lift up. And lower, inhale, exhale, lift. And lower. Okay, now what we're going to do is place the hands so we've got like an L shape between the wrist and the elbow. And then we're going to inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, place the hands down. So you're going to feel a weird stretch right in the back of the shoulder. Shoulders, should I say. It's very nice and very good for you. Lift up, hands come back. And come down. Just keep stretching. And down. So the shoulders is obviously very near the neck. And... The arms and the hands also link with the shoulders. So if you find that you write a lot, type a lot, drive a lot, um, what can all like you knit or maybe you're a beauty therapist, you can build up a lot of tension within the hands and the elbows. So it's just really nice to relax them and just invite a little bit of gentle movement. Let's do one more. And relax now bring the hands down by the sides and now lift the arms up so the uh, palms face each other straight line from wrist to elbow and then relax the head lift the shoulders up and then place them down and then just turn so you're coming from the shoulder joint just turn and twist from the shoulders
chest keep twisting. We're nearly there. You should feel a little bit of warmth now in the shoulders. And then relax, clasp the hands together and then bring them down and then turn the back of the hands onto the chest. And we inhale, we exhale, push through the hands and then arms go over the head. We don't push the ribs out. We keep everything nice and neutral, pelvis and neutral. The hands don't touch the floor. And then we squeeze up and then we bring the hands back down. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, hands go back. We lift it up, hands come down. And then we lift, hands come back. Lift up, hands come down. Good, and again lift, hands come back. Now what we're going to do is relax the hands, bring the feet, the hands all the way to the bottom, to the heels, and then we stretch and come back. So we are creating a nice big circle with our hands. Now, I always say use your mind to muscle connection. When we use our minds, the body works a little bit harder and a little bit different, okay? So imagine you're drawing a nice big circle with your fingertips and you're drawing the biggest circle that you can. And without realizing it, you'll find that you will point your fingers and you will stretch just a little bit more. Let's do three more. Just nice and gentle. Link the breath here. Doesn't matter if you inhale or exhale when here. It's just really relaxing. Hands come up. Lift the arms up and lower the hands down. And now hopefully all of the top of your arms you feel like you've just done a nice little bit of work. So feet are hip width apart. And you're going to stretch the arms out like a T. And then we inhale and exhale, both knees over to the left and stretch out and hold it. And bring the knees, come back up, exhale over to the right. This should feel so lovely in the hips. If you've got sciatica, lower back pain, this is a really good one to do. So I encourage you to do this as many times throughout the day as you can. Allow one hip to come off the floor. But if you imagine again, mind to muscle connection, someone pushing on your knees, you're gonna get a good stretch to come back up. And let's just keep going. Like I said, today's gonna be nice and gentle due to the fact it feels like Barbados out there. And we want to not exert ourselves too, too much. Come back up. Over to the other side. Just one more time. We inhale and exhale over to the right. And come back in. Wonderful. Okay, now stretch the left leg out. Right foot on the left thigh of the shin. Left hand goes onto the right knee. Inhale, exhale over stretch over to the left now this is a little bit of yoga as well but i use it a lot in pilates because this really helps with sciatica or if you've got a very tense stressed lower back if you've got tight hips tight hamstrings if you run a lot walk a lot or you're on your feet during the day a lot if you're hairdressing for example or a teacher this will really help stretch out your it band which will help with having sort of tense sore muscles. So just keep the right elbow and the right hand onto the floor, keep stretching away. And then bring the um, sort of lower back back to the floor and then stretch the right leg out and the left foot on the right thigh, left arm out to the side and twist. I'm just going to go and shut my door and I think someone's mowing their lawn and it's very noisy. Okay, so let's go to the other side. Keep stretching over that left hand, 
stretch it open all down the side. And then bring everything back in. Let's hug the knees into the chest, put the big toes together, and then we rock side to side. And then we circle round. And then the other way. And again, rocking side to side. Hands on the inside of the knees, lifting um, knees up, inhale, exhale, knees out to the side. And then bring it back in, right foot down. Now let's hug the left knee in. Push through that left heel, hands behind the thigh and lift up. Now push your leg into your hand to create a little bit of resistance. Now you want your lower back glued down to the floor. Push through that left heel. So as you can just about see, my foot is parallel to the ceiling. That's what you want. Now it doesn't matter if your leg is at a slight bend in the left knee, that's fine. If you've got tight legs, this will be a little bit of a challenge for you but a really, really good way to open up the hamstring. So if you're new here, oh, I will repeat myself because I say this probably about 10 times a week. If you have bad lower back, and this is why you want to come to Pilates, you need to stretch out your legs because probably 80% of people that I see with bad backs actually just have tight legs and therefore they need to stretch out. So holding long stretches like this, Opening up all the muscles down the back of the leg will really, really help you. Just bend the knee, place the foot down to the floor, hug the right knee in, hands behind that lower, that back of the leg. Inhale, exhale, lift it up and push the leg into the hand and just keep pushing away, creating a little bit of resistance. Just breathe in and out. Bend the knee, place the foot flat onto the floor. Okay, let's come up now and we're going to do some standing stretches. So you can either rock yourself up or come to lay onto your right side and lift. I'm going to come to rock myself up and I'm coming back onto all fours. So this is a very intense stretch for a lot of people and I understand if you can't do it, so just please stand up. But we're coming onto the toes and we're crouching down, right? So if you've got tight uh, feet even, or tight, tight hips, tight legs, and you want to just come to stand up, you can stand up and I'll meet you there in a few seconds, okay? So hands are flat on the floor and we take a deep breath in and we just nod and round through the spine. So if you're standing, don't worry, we'll see you in a minute. Just keep stretching and then relax. And we're going to inhale and exhale, push the heels into the mat and let the head drop. Now lift up the toes. So again, you're feeling that stretch all down the back of the legs. Let the head drop. And just hold it there. And then bend the knees and gently, 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 nice and slow, come to stand yourself up. Wonderful. So I'm just going to move back. So hopefully you can see me all. See me. Okie dokie. Right. You can't see all of me, but that doesn't matter. And you can see on my sofa. Apologies about that. There we go. Right. So the feet are hip points apart. We're going to stand up nice and tall. So you don't need to see my upper body, so it's fine. Hands are down by your sides. And we're going to nod the chin. And then you're going to round one vertebrae at a time. Let the head drop. Slowly, slowly come all the way down. Let the head go. Relax everything. Relax the fingers down. Let the head drop. Breathing in and out. Now bend the knees 
very gently restack the spine nice and slow and come to stand all the way back up okay so we've done the first one we now want to do another one and i want you to see if there's any difference so what we do is we nod and we round through okay now what we want to do is feel this purely in our lower back not in our legs so you need to bend your knees as much as you can to feel this in your lower back now I, I am not as flexible as i'd like to be but i do have a little bit of flexibility so i have to bend my knees as much as as much as this to feel this in my lower back so let the head drop down the fingertips onto the floor breathe in and breathe out Inhale and exhale. And then bend the knees, gently restack and come all the way back up. Oh, it should feel really nice and relaxing. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, nod. And then round through. Come all the way down. Bend those knees. Enjoy this stretch. It's so relaxing. I, I, could, I almost feel like I could do this all day. Just relax. And then bend those knees and gently reset the spine. And come all the way back up. Nice. Well done. Okay, so... Apologies, you can't see me all, that's very annoying. Um, but now what we're going to do, oh, that's better, is we're going to cross the feet over. So just watch me first. We're going to cross the feet over. Our time is down to the side. We inhale and then we exhale, we roll down, but the legs are straight. So before you start, your left leg is on the floor and then you cross the right over now walk the right foot in front of the left a little bit because otherwise you might find your left knee gets a little bit irritable here so just listen to it if it feels sore or like it's like it's really locking then i would definitely just walk that right foot forward so you want to make sure that the kind of weight is balanced in each foot of course you might be a little bit lopsided but as long as the excuse me the feet are very flat on the floor you'll be fine so hands are down by your sides and look straight forward, shoulders away from the ears, inhale, exhale, nod, and now stretch. So if the fingertips can come down to the floor, floor, brilliant. Let the head drop and stretch it out, stretch out the backs of the legs, breathe in and out. Hold it here. Now bend the knees and restack, kick all the way back up. Lift up tall. Right foot on the floor, left foot over. Nice and tall, hands down by your sides. Breathe in, nod. Exhale, round it down. Now, fingertips can come down. You might find that one side is a lot easier than the other or you might feel a little bit wobbly. If you need to hold on to a wall, that's fine. But let your head drop. If you're trying to look forward, you're going to feel pressure in the face. Just let the head drop and stretch out the backs of the legs. Hold it there. And now bend the knees, roll the restack, come all the way back up. Wonderful. Now let's take a nice wide stance on the mat. Toes are facing out towards the side. And a straight line from the big toe of the left foot to the big toe of the right foot, okay? So hands onto your hips, push the shoulders down and away. And then we inhale, we bring the chest forwards, stretch, hinging at the hips, drop the head, fingertips come down. Now push into the heel, lift the toes up, and let the head drop down. Hands are flat on the floor. Let the head drop. Take 
a deep breath in, breathe out, bend the knees very slowly, breathe, stack and lift. <sighs> Wonderful, let's do that one more time. Nice and tall spine, hands into the hips, push your shoulders away. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Fingertips on the floor and stretch. Let the head drop. Push into the heels as the toes off if you can. Deep breath in, breathe out, bend the knees and restack, lift up. <sighs> Lovely, hopefully you feel nice and relaxed. Come to stand at the bottom of the mat, we're coming back down to the floor now. The feet are hip width apart. We're going to nod the chin and roll all the way down, bend those knees. Fingertips on the floor, bend the knees, walk the hands back or come to lay down if you find this uncomfortable. Hug the knees in, oh, rock side to side. And then just let the left leg slide out. Just hug that right knee in slightly, point both toes, feel it in the top of the left thigh. And then come back in, hands over, slide it away, point the toes. Um, relax, slide it away. And now we're just here, um, just for a minute, and I want you just to feel all the effects of the stretches that we've just done. This is like a little, very mini relaxation, okay? Just um, stop, de-stress, feel the end, just lay down, relax the body from head to toe. Any tension you feel, just let it go. And we're just here for a minute, just breathing in and out. <sighs> And just enjoy this one minute of just pure peace. Try and switch off the minds. Just feel all the benefits of all the stretches that we've just done. And then just take a deep breath in, hug the knees in towards the chest and then breathe out, rock side to side. Again, massaging that lower back, searching the knees if you want to. Just nice and easy on yourself, taking your time. And then either roll yourself up or come to down to your right side and meet me in a cross-legged position. So in reverse, we're going to sit cross-legged at the end of the class and just hold it here. We're going to sit here for one minute, okay? We just push the shoulders down away from the ears. If you need a little drink here, grab one. But just keep pushing the knees down. Keep the spine really tall. Close the eyes. Think of your core work in here. Shoulders are away from the ears, fingertips and toes are relaxed. A 
and then what we're going to do is cross the other foot over and so both sides are equal so just sitting up nice and tall once again shoulders away from the ears just breathing in and out And what we're going to do is inhale and exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, stretching out the neck. Come into the middle, exhale, left ear to left shoulder. This is a really nice one, very nice one to do if you get headaches a lot, um, with this weather, a little bit of hay fever, just stretching out the neck, no tension, into the middle, out to the other side. Stretch your fingertips out long. Inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, come back down. And inhale, up. And exhale, come back down. Give yourselves a little round of applause for joining, with, joining in with me on one of the hottest days of the year. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little bit different, but I didn't want to overexert anyone with this weather. This is really nice to do to come back to if you ever feel like a little bit stressed or your body feels a little bit tense. We've been doing a lot of exercise lately and um, you just want to, to just stretch out. Um, Pilates is always kind of like a, you know, people always focus on their core and their back, but they also need to remember you need to stretch out your muscles, otherwise your muscles get tighter and therefore more issues and injuries can happen. So yes, a couple of questions. This will be saved onto the Facebook page, so you can always come back to it whenever you wish. And don't forget, I've done every Wednesday bar about one or two since January, so there's lots of different Pilates workouts on there as well. I will see you all next Wednesday. Have a wonderful week, all of you, and I really appreciate you coming and seeing me in this hot weather. I'm so pleased you feel relaxed and stretched. Brilliant. Could you do some exercises to strengthen the lower back? Yes, if you go through my other um, uh, videos on here, and there's also a YouTube, my YouTube channel, which I'll link down below, and that has got different exercises as well, and some of them will definitely help to strengthen the lower back. But yes, a full, I think the weather's not going to be too, too hot next week, so we're back to full on Pilates, strong cores, and strong backs. Okay, take, I'll uh, just see if there's any more questions. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. If you've got any um, requests for any um, classes you'd like me to do Pilates, whether it be shoulders, upper body, lower body, back, neck stretches, whatever, just comment below and I'll always listen and I'll always try and incorporate them into the classes too. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You've linked my YouTube and the pages down below. That's brilliant. Okay, guys, have a wonderful day in the sunshine. So nice and dry tonight and the thunderstorms are meant to be happening. And I'll see you all next Wednesday. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.